What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, in life, we are up. We are down, sometimes in the middle. It's just how it is. You know, days you have money, days you don't. Days your breath stink, days it don't. You have skid marks in your drawers. Oops, that's just you. But life is like that. And usually as, as men, black men, we grow from it and we learn and we're able to do the better things. You know, this is the case of Mike Tyson. All right, it's, 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 it's Mike Tyson's just like that. Here's a guy that came from nothing, all right, and, and, and was training under Costamato, the legendary trainer, became the youngest heavyweight champion, made a ton of money, got lost the channel, you know, lost the championship, went to prison, came back and won it again, lost all his money, all right, but. He was so loved, he came back, right? And now he has one of the best podcasts, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. He has an energy drink. You know, Mike Tyson's just, everybody loves him. And he's happy now. With less money, he's happy. And he recovered from, you know, from failing, you know, in life a little bit. You know, he, he had rough, rough, rough times. He, he, he made it past boxing. You know, none of us are talking about Lennox Lewis anymore or Evander Holyfield. Those guys are those guys are bums. They're great fighters, but nobody wants to listen to them talk. We all love Tyson, all right? Everybody loves Tyson. So much so that Tyson is getting a movie written about him and Jamie Foxx will be playing it. Now, remember when Tyson was young in the 80s, he was married to the very beautiful Robin Gibbons. And we all felt that Robin Givens was just using Mike. She only married him to take his money. Okay? Now, she comes from a very exclusive family. Um, you know, you know, you know, very, very beautiful. You know, like I said, she was just a, 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 a teen sensation. And, um, you know, Robin Givens was, was, was we, we all think that she was chasing the bag. All right? They had nothing in common. They're, they're from totally different um careers now she's a liar she said she got into harvard medical school but never got there all right she just didn't she's a liar what she was only getting with mike to get the bag now granted mike had a lot of problems and mike admitted to abusing her which was wrong all right but they were only married for like three months and she took 10 million dollars from mike and Mike was never the same after that. He's never the same, okay? He admitted, he apologized, he paid your 10 million. Now remember that part where I said that after Mike fell off, he came back. After Robin Givens got that 10 million, she never did anything. After Boomerang, it was over, all right? No, no, nobody gives a damn about a Robin Givens. All right, Ro Robin Givens is a bum. Let, let, let's just be honest. I mean, I, I mean, as an actress, she's very beautiful and nice and stuff. But outside of Boomerang, she, uh, nobody cares about Robin Givens. All right, you never go like, oh my God, who are the greatest actresses of? You know, Felicia Rashad. You know, Angela Bassett. Nobody says Robin Givens. Robin Givens can't act. Robin Givens is terrible. Okay, she was good to look at, and that's it. That, and I'm not saying that nobody wanted to hire, the, the, you know, Robin Gibbons. Maybe she'll have like a, a scene in Tyler Perry's movie or something like that. And she's walking down the street. And that's it. Robin Gibbons is a bomb actress. Okay. Robin Gibbons is terrible. It's just the truth. She's not good. Boomerang was the best thing I ever saw her in. After that, terrible. And then what happened with Robin Givens is after she couldn't do anything anymore, she released an autobiography that nobody bought, 
Now she's 55 years old. She married a, a, a white guy, and also that didn't work. So actually Tyson, she was married to Tyson for like 30 days. She married a white guy, that, 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 that lasted for another year too, right? 97 to 98. Then she married, she had Murphy Jensen. She can't keep anybody. Robin Givens can't keep anybody. She is crazy. And now she's hating on Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson has a biopic. Now she's talking about this. Dating music? I hope that, you know, his abusive past and how he treats women is going to be in the biopic. I don't want to be in the biopic. Robin Givens, trust me. Nobody wants our wives. Nobody cares about you. Okay? Capiche? You're going to be left out because you were not even there. You were only there for 30 minutes. Nobody gives a damn about your ass, Robin. All you cared about is the money, and now you have no more money, and you're, and, and you're poor. Okay? Okay? Mike is still hot, and nobody's checking for you anymore. It's over. Wall. Wall. You didn't make the right decisions. Wall. You hit it very hard more than once. All right? And it's just what some people do. You know, the guy apologized for what he did. Okay, hit, hitting, abusing women mentally or physically is wrong. Okay? It's wrong. But he paid the money. He said he was sorry. He apologized. And you know what? He moved on. Well, player hater Robin Givens, okay, is wants to get out there and, 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 and hate on Mike. You want to get your name out in the paper? Nobody cares. Like, if nobody's talking about Mike Tyson, nobody talks about you. All right? Nobody. The market is not hot for 55-year-olds for Robin Givens. And this is what they all do. With men of means that are still hot and are still popping, here you want to, you know, you, you're trying to make a name for yourself because you didn't have any talent. You know, nobody will ever make a, a, a movie with Robin Givens. That movie would be 45 seconds long. The movie would be like this. Dave Music! Robin Givens was born in New Rochelle, New York. She acted for five minutes and no one cared. The end. Bye bye. That's it. Stop hating. Okay? You can't keep any man, Robin. Nobody wants you. Not Mike, not the white guy, nobody else. You're a single mom now. Mike is remarried, happy. And it's not his fault that you couldn't get your life together. He left you in 89 years. You have never did, you haven't done anything great since then. That was the greatest thing you ever did was, was be associated with the Mike Tyson brand. You haven't done nothing since. Is it just like an ex-girlfriend? Notice your ex-girlfriend's brothers. N none of them are doing anything. Like none of them. All, all the girlfriends, 11 out of eight of them, are just sandaling it up. They're just sandaling it up. None of them are doing anything. Not great. I mean, not as great as me. None of them are doing. Well, uh, stop the show. I am very, very talented. This is. <laughs> I mean, let's be let's be real here. I'm one of the greatest guys to ever do this. You know. I, I mean, I'm. You know, if. You know, if you could, you know, pick an NBA player of celebrity celebrity gossip on YouTube, I'm just, I'm like Michael Jordan. But none of them are doing what I'm doing. And, 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 and you know what? Some of them, you know, they know I'm, I'm doing pretty good. They're blaming me still. One person in particular. You're still, listen, Lolo Keisha, bum. All right? You're still weaving and sandaling up. Your weave is still struggling. It has nothing to do with me. Your weave was struggling when we're together. Your weave is struggling now. And I'm telling you, just stop hating. All right? Stop the hate. Let the man enjoy his life. Stop trying to attach to his, the guy's not even thinking about you. 
And that's the thing. They always want to mention themselves or, or get into the conversation and get quoted. Well, nobody's thinking about you. Nobody cares about her. You're at the wall. Mike is not. Mike is still just as popular as he was in the 80s. Everybody knows about Mike. Nobody knows about you. And you wish you could be in that biopic so you could go and talk about him on the podcast. Maybe maybe Lonnie Love's dusty self will invite you over to the real. You can come over there and talk about how you've been bummed up the last 30 years and not been doing anything with your life. That's what you want. But you will get, you will not get it. You will continue to be sorry. Stop hating on Mike. The guy said he's sorry, he paid your $10 million. Get on with it. Guys, that's my time. Here's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Subscribe, hit the bell. Guys, I really appreciate all that you do. I really do. I thank you guys so much. Continue to subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, check out the Patreon, patreon.com backslash the Romanosphere. Uh, don't forget also the Black Men Are Pervert t-shirts. Uh, buy you one. All the girls will immediately give you a kiss if you buy it. Uh, it happens to me all the time. I mean, like, you're walking on the street and just people try to kiss me. I'm like, yo, stop, 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 stop. So, guys, make sure you do that, all right? And uh, as you know, the buffonery remains at an all-time high. I am out. Peace.